August 26th, 1985, Loving the Lion. I never had a doubt that I would fall deeply in love with Leon because it happened within the first few moments of our first meeting. Before I met him, I held, held no doubt and little else besides. He doesn't have to love me back, and I won't delude myself if he can, not now. Loving him as I do does not bleed me, even if it makes literary demands of me. Sunsets bleed me more. My soul is incarnadine with each spectacular death. I want nothing as badly as I want to share my best sunset with Leon. His immediate impression of the sun and its fiery throes of death could only heighten the experience. Manti mankind could forevermore be barred from Fire Lake if Leon were there, the second fall from paradise. The mirror across the room from me may be the kindest glass ever cut. My thinning hair holds a dozen different hues of brown because of the sun's light and it looks forceful and soft. My perfect, by any standards, nose is beautifully shadowed while my dark mustache and beard nicely frame my lips. There's more than ten feet between the reflection and I, but he's no less magnetically appealing at that distance. I'm most attractive at a physical distance and a spiritual closeness. No matter how near I get to Leon, both physically and spiritually, his beauty remains constant and pure. The nearer I get, in fact, the more beautiful he seems. The bastard.